Man, this is one nice ride. I tell you what, this thing is super, super, super nice. It rides just phenomenal. This ultimate town car, I know there's nothing, you know, that special about it compared to other town cars, but with as rust-free as this thing is, and the kind of deal that this gentleman got on this car, this thing rides unbelievable. The repair and stuff of the exhaust manifold and sealing the down the downstream flange or fixing it where the exhaust shop didn't fix it and uh they did a they did a pretty bad job um and then you know just putting all new studs and gaskets and stuff and replacing that driver's side exhaust manifold it really cleaned this car up a lot it cleaned up a lot of the engine noises that were going on with this car and this thing just it rides just amazing the ride quality and how clean it is with like noises from the outside getting in and there's just a com it's a completely different world whenever you drive a Lincoln Town car versus any other car completely different world it's like the Lincoln Lincoln uh, Town car and the Cadillac DeVille or Seville or something like that just they really both manufacturers really knocked it out of the park with those two they really knew what they were doing uh, when they created the comfort level behind those two cars. The Lincoln is by far my favorite and it's just It's in a class of its own. I mean, I've driven other luxury cars and stuff like that But the Lincoln Town Car to me is always going to be the best vehicle ever produced when it comes to uh, you know cars automobiles full-size sedans It's a luxury car man. That's just and it was brand new the base model i think they said was like 45 44 000, and that was a base model but it was just so nice that was just a regular signature series like i have now if i took my car versus you know a factory panther car my car is substantially quicker and faster but it's louder and it's it's not uh, as nice on fuel and it's when you drive one of these that's still in like almost mint condition and it's been unmolested with all the factory parts and stuff on it and then you get in a car like mine that's really quick and peppy off the line and loud with exhaust and paddle shifters and 93 octane tune they're two completely different cars mine's still comfortable and rides phenomenal but it has nowhere near the factory type luxury feel and stuff that a unmolested town car has here was the repair to this car to get it in just amazing super quiet shape I'm going to let it idle down so I can really pick up the sound, but I don't see or hear any hissing or anything so far, so, so far so good. And you'll get that residual smoke that starts to come off of it, that's normal. See, this side is, is uh, even though the nuts have rust on them, this side is in still, still in really good shape. None of the studs have popped yet. And it's not like super flaking off, so I would leave this alone until it starts to leak. I don't feel anything down here leaking. We'll have to see. The way that's all pitted and stuff like that, you may want to take a, if you ever get one that's real, real bad, you may have to take and cut both of these ends off and have two new matching flanges put on or you'll have to use a little bit of uh, copper silicone in between or um, that uh, high temp exhaust cement I don't feel nothing there nothing along the exhaust manifold You get a little bit of a leak from the power steering pump, but I don't know if it's sprayed off and check, sprayed off and inspect, you just observe it, see if it's coming out of that hose. A lot of times it's just that hose that has to be replaced. This motor is so quiet, man. This motor is in such great, such great shape. See, there's the bottom of that manifold. You can see that even though it's rusty, it's not flaky. There's nothing coming apart. There's no studs busted. So I would hate to put another three hours into this side if it ain't leaking, you know? It seems to be in really good shape.
Well, now we let it warm up and go drive it. It sounds way better now with the new exhaust manifold. Super quiet. Yeah, all that tick and tap that was going on before and the exhaust hiss, that's all gone. So there, there ain't no need to be doing timing changes. You got another 100,000 miles out of this front cover, bud. There ain't no reason to be going into that front cover for any of that stuff. So all that noise was coming from that exhaust manifold. And the fact that whoever you had do the exhaust work really screwed up the flange on that catalytic converter and they put the wrong stud in this side of the manifold. You should have two of the smaller flat studs like this because these donuts are not that big and the flange only sits on there so far.